Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. We are currently standing in Germany, and behind me is the Jaguar I-Pace. So that means it's time again to check what the range of this car is when I drive top speed. The car is being charged to somewhere between 90 and 100%. My estima estimation for the range is that, well, since every car that I've driven so far can do around 150 kilometers on a full state of charge while driving top speed, I think this car will do the same. It's not the most efficient car, so again, my guess is around 150 kilometers, but we will see. Okay, we're on our way to the Autobahn. The car is charged to 95%. It estimates a race of 333 kilometers, but we all know we, we, we're not going to make that. It's now 94%. The trip is at zero. The top speed of this car is 200 kilometers an hour, so that's quite quick. And we will get there quite quick. So we're on the Autobahn and there we go. 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200 top speed. And we will just go, it's very quick. 210, it's even going faster than I thought it would go. 208. 208 kilometers an hour we will see how fast the battery will drain because the, the consumption now is 110 watt time per kilometer yeah, it's quite a lot it's going down though but still it has a large battery pack but it's not the most efficient car in the world but we will just hammer it and I will come back with an update when the battery is dr mostly drained oh we have already We've already drained 5%. That's going quite quick. But we will see. Okay, so we're, we have currently used 15% of the state of charge and we've only driven 17, 18 kilometers. So according to that, we will not even make 150 kilometers. That's just not possible. Maybe probably closer to 100 to 110. Because normally, the, the second 50% goes a little bit quicker than the first one. So, what we'll see. We're still going strong though, 208. That's the top speed, it's limited to that. And it will not go any faster than that. And we, we will probably hit the, the road work soon because they are somewhere around here. But luckily, the Germans know how to drive on the right. So we are at the end of the roadworks. We've used 25% of battery capacity. And we have done 35 kilometers, so it does, does not look well for the Jaguar I-Pace. What is well though, is the handling of this car. It feels solid as a rock, even when driving 200 kilometers an hour. So. It doesn't feel light at the front wheels or anything, it's amazing. Here we go again, 180, 190. Someone goes out of our way, 200. 208, we cannot go any faster. But luckily it's quiet on the road. Okay, so in one kilometer there is an exit. I will probably take that one since we have used 40% and I think the next exit is quite far away from here. So just in case we're going to turn around here before we run out. We don't, we don't want to run out. I hope it's possible to turn around here. Yeah, it is. 150. One thing I do know though, is that I turn around a lot sooner than I did with the Tesla and with my Hyundai. So this car can drive less far on one state of charge. Okay, going on the highway again. Time to go 200. 
maybe we will drive a little bit past the charger then if we have enough state of charge left but we will see when we get there all right 140 again 50 60 70 80 car in front of me Ninety, and we are at two hundred again. So we hit the roadworks again on the way back. It's time to breathe. We have done. Let me do the calculation. Fifty-five percent battery capacity of state of charge, however you call it. We've done seventy kilometers. Yeah, we're not going to make one fifty. Probably one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty, maybe. I mean, this car is thirsty. It drives super well, but it is thirsty as heck. It has a large battery, but it needs that battery to even drive 300 kilometers when you drive normally. All right, we're driving 140 kilometers an hour. There's a slow poke in front of me. There was already a German behind me who came to me with, uh, I don't know, probably also 200, <laughs> something like that. Oh, he's out of our way. You can go for it. Only 24% of battery capacity to deplete. And we will do that in oh, probably not that, probably not that long of a time. Holy crap. There's a BMW behind me who wants to go even faster than me. That's insane. I will see if I can find a stretch for him to get out of him get out of his way around here there he goes I am doing 200 he probably wants to do 250 something like that and there he goes okay it's time for the last exit we still have one 11 percent remaining but I don't know the other way when the next exit is I don't trust it and I don't take the gamble we have now 10 percent left yeah, that's still a good amount. The car, the car is already saying that my battery is almost empty, which is true. So I will see you at the charger for the final. So back at the charger. And the first thing I got to say though, is that this car feels very stable. Even when you drive 200 kilometers an hour, it can do that with no problem. The second thing though, is that this car is thirsty. It's very thirsty. We have used 85% state of charge. And with that 85% we have used, uh, we have driven 115 kilometers. So if you do the calculation based on that, that means that this car can drive around 135 kilometers on one state of charge. But we had the road works again. Sometimes you drive a little bit slower than 200. So that means if you go 200 all the way, you can easily subtract 10 kilometers off that, maybe even 15. So that leaves you with around 120 kilometers that you can do with one state of charge if you drive top speed which is not a lot because the Tesla Model 3 can drive faster and can do 150 160 uh, my Hyundai Kona drives a little bit slower but can also do 150 so it is not a lot it's thirsty but there you have it that's a conclusion this car can do around 120 kilometers on one state of charge when you drive top speed so if you like this video please give a like and subscribe if you did not please leave a comment below to see what I can improve and then I would like to say now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.